Hello everyone and welcome back to Moose Now, where we bring you the latest news and updates of campus events going on here at Utica University. My name is Charles Buckley. And I'm Issa Hujak. This is the last episode of Moose Now for the semester, so let's jump right into the events for the rest of 2022. Women in Construction are holding a Holiday Ornament Workshop event on December 5th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Thurston Hall, room 104. Decorate your own holiday ornament by wood burning, hand painting, and hydro dripping. You can even make a few ornaments to give as gifts to friends and family this holiday season. Try your hand at construction decorating techniques and help women in construction raise money for local charities and upcoming future events that they will host. The cost is $5 per ornament and you can pay at the workshop. Do you have some pent up rage over that 10 page paper you just finished? Lucky for you, Utica's campus program board is hosting a finals prep rage room. Get out your rage feels, frustrations, and emotions now so you can be successful and tackle your assignments and finals rage free. Students will be invited to write their stressors on a plate and smash it in a controlled setting. The Rage Room will be in full effect on Tuesday, December 6th from 11.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Strubble. Looking for a way to get rid of some winter clothes? Then this is the event for you. On Tuesday, December 6th, Theta Phi Alpha will be hosting a winter clothes drive. This gives students and staff a chance to donate winter clothes to a good cause. The event will be happening from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. at Promotional Table 1 located outside the Strubble Dining Commons. Utica TV's monthly game night will be going live. Wow, did you say live? I sure did, live at five. <laughs> this month's game night will be Tuesday, December 6th. If you can't watch the live stream, head on over to our YouTube channel, Utica TV, for the video. You won't want to miss this thrilling final episode of the semester. Are you interested in learning about how global human rights are impacting you and your community? On Tuesday, December 6th, the Slice Office will be hosting a discussion on how to help refugees in your community. If you're interested in social justice, diversity, equity, and inclusion, rights, and freedoms, then you're going to want to join in. This event will be happening from 4.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. in the Hislop Auditorium located in Thurston Hall. It's the final lunch hour of the semester, and if you're a fan of music, you're definitely going to want to attend. On Wednesday, December 7th, the Utica University Choir will be performing their selection of holiday-themed songs for the Utica community and campus. The event will be running from 12.30 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. in the Library Concourse. The last episode for the semester also means the last episode of the weather. Corinne, will it be sunshine and rainbows or blizzards and hail? We are in the final stretch of the semester with the last week of classes this week. I hope you are surviving the studying grind and are ready for the long-awaited Christmas break. Let's see what this week will bring for our weather. Monday, the clouds will be high in the sky and our temperatures will be a bit higher as well. Just above the freezing point, we will have a high of 45 and a low of 32. Tuesday brings heavy rain, but the temperatures are expected to rise and there is not much of a difference between our high and low temperature here. It will circle around the low 40s. Wednesday, we are expected to get scattered showers, a leftover of rain from Tuesday, and our temperatures will raise to the low 50s, but may drop down with a low of 38. Thursday won't bring any rain. The clouds will stick around for a while, and we will have a high of 42. Our circulating temperatures and what it will actually feel like for Thursday may drop down to the low 30s. Our weather almost feels like spring with all the rain we've had mixed with some light flurries. Friday will also bring similar temperatures. We will have highs of 38 and lows of 23. Heading into the weekend, it is looking to be very cloudy with hints of sunshine popping through. Saturday has a difference of 10 degrees in temperature, topping out with a high of 35 and a low of 25. Sunday looks very similar. You can definitely see the difference in consistency with our whole weekend. We will have a high of 39 and a low of 27. I know last week we got some unexpected windstorms that caused some damage in the local area. And while things aren't predicted to be too stormy this week, I would keep an eye out at your local weather station for the most up-to-date information on storm tracking. As I said at the beginning, this is the last week of classes for our students, meaning it is the last week of weather reports and of Moose Now. Thank you for joining me this semester. For the weather, I've had so much fun bringing you all the updates. Have a merry, merry Christmas, and I will see you in the new year. Thank you, Corinne. We will see you next semester. 
The Center for Career Readiness is hosting a Partech Career Panel this upcoming Wednesday from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Panelists, who include President and CEO Savni Singh, CFO Brian Menar, and other professionals from the engineering field, will be talking about the, the career opportunities that PAR can offer. All students from all majors are invited, and you can register for the event on Handshake, or if you need transportation, email, email careerdevelopment at utica.edu. The event won't be hosted on campus, but it will be at PAR Technology. Want to break out of the habits of procrastination? Well, if you do, TRIO Student Support Services is hosting an event called Long Night Against Procrastination. The event is scheduled for Thursday, December 8th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the Hislop Auditorium. Come and enjoy the event as we prepare for finals week. On December 9th in the Wilcox Center from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m., the Women's Resource Center will be hosting an Expression Through Makeup discussion space. In the discussion, students are welcome to talk about the misconceptions of makeup related to gender, as well as the reasons why people do their makeup. The discussion will also give students a safe space to express themselves through makeup. We are almost out for the semester, and to help you finish strong, TRIO is hosting the Finals Countdown. On December 11th from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. in both the Strebel Lounge and the Pioneer Cafe, you can join tutoring services, TRIO, opportunity programs, and slice to marathon your study session before finals. You can study independently, with tutors, with friends, or you can just trade some study tips with other students. Make sure to set this on your calendar because this event is one you're not going to want to miss. Managing your stress levels through finals week can be quite a challenge. To help with this, on December 12th at 10 a.m., you can stop by the library concourse to de-stress with some canine companions. The Animal Shelter Association is hosting Doggy De-Stress Day, where you can stop by the library and relax with some dogs in between finals. What better way to de-stress than by petting a furry friend this next Monday at 10 a.m.? For the last time this semester, the DEI Book Club is meeting, and, they're, and this time they're discussing the book Whipping Girl, a transsexual woman on sexism and the scapegoating of femininity. The book's writer, Julia Serrano, shares her experiences and insights both before and after her transition in order to reveal the ways that fear, suspicion, and dismissiveness towards femininity shape our societal attitudes towards trans women. You can attend on December 15th at 3.30 p.m. via Zoom. The Zoom link can be found on their event page on PioHub. That's all the time we have for this week of Moose Now. Be sure to check your email for the morning mention to stay up to date on campus events. Good luck on your finals, and we hope you have a wonderful break. And always remember to... Fear the Moose!